Mort, yes, Roland. Did you know that the first boot scraper was made in 1885? No, I didn't. It was ten stories high and called the Home Insurance Building. So, more of a skyscraper than a boot scraper, then? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oi, Mort! Yes, Roland? Did you know that the first zip fastener was created in 1963? You amaze me. This five-digit number allows more efficient mail delivery all over the United States. Yeah, I think the Americans actually use the zip code. Well, to keep their trousers closed, maybe. Yes. Uh, have you any other interesting information to share? Oh, oh no, no. Oi, Mort! Yes, Roland? Did you know the first egg cup was in 1930? Is that so? Won by Uruguay with a final score of 4-2. Uh-huh. Uh, would you care to tell me where all this fascinating trivia is coming from? It's from this brilliant book I'm reading, Famous Firsts. And look, the best bit is that it comes out every year, and anyone can be in it, if they get a reputable witness to declare that they were the first to do something. Well, let me be the first to say I have better things to do. Oh, don't worry. I'll sort something out myself. Please do. Roland, what are you doing? I'm making the first device that rotates on an axle to facilitate motion by overcoming friction. So, you're inventing the wheel? Yeah. But the wheel's already been invented. Oh yeah. Well, I'll just have to be the first to do something else. You will. Now, do you mind if I get back to my book? No, 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 you, you go ahead. rom pom 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 Oh, watch em, Mort. I don't suppose you've seen America around here, have you? It's just I'm planning to be the first to discover it. No, Roland. America was discovered over 500 years ago. You're too late. If you really want to be in this book, you're going to have to do something original. Like what? Like, be the first to reach the North Pole on a camel. Or, uh, the first to cross the Atlantic in a paper boat. Or, or, be the first to break the sound barrier in a water-powered car. Yeah. Well, we better get started. <laughs> well, it's finished. Now we just need to take it to the Nevada Desert for testing. The Nevada Desert? Well, there's always the car park down the road. Oh, sounds good to me. Right. Ready, Roland? Ready. Remove the cover. Remove the cover. Open valve one. Open valve one. 
Yeah, uh, close valve one. Open valve two. Open valve two. Chocks away. <clears throat> Chocks away. Well, we're ready. Ready for posterity. You're going to be the first pilot of a supersonic water-powered car. How do you feel? Quietly confident. Well, away you go. The water's run out. Apply the brakes. We're all dead. What? Well, steer away from that gate. You're going to hit it. Oh, car! I can't see. Well, jump to safety. But there will never be in famous words. If you don't, then your next sentence will be in famous last words. So be it. Roland! Whoops. Whoops indeed, young man. Now then, you two. What's going on here? We were trying to become the first to use a water-powered car to break the sound barrier so we could be in the famous first book. <laughs> really? Well, fancy that. Now, tell me, Sonny, previous to your collision with that gate, was it in an unbroken condition? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, I'd better write this down. There we go. Now then, don't let me catch you messing about here again. No, no sir. sir. Right. So, what does that note say? Hmm. A policeman is a reputable witness, isn't he? Well, yes, but then we better get this sent off immediately. But, but, what's it say? Mort, Roland, can't you see I'm reading? But you got yourself into famous firsts. Yeah, but I've got a new book. I'm not interested. But it's brilliant. No, it's called Record Breaking Cake Eaters. Well, <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs>